Hey guys, it's Jen from My Cray Crafts. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to make these car decals from start to finish. These are all mom decals, and I think they turned out absolutely amazing. This one is hilarious to me. I'm definitely getting out of patience with my kids. I don't know about you guys, but these are great sellers for me, and I'm going to show you how to create them, how to sell them, how to package them, everything you need to know for these. So stay tuned for this video. You do not want to miss out. Alright guys, so I'm starting in Design Space. This looks a little messy right here, but I wanted to show you what it looks like before I do anything. So I uploaded a bunch of images from Etsy that I purchased, and I put them into Design Space. Um, I have a video showing you how to do that in case you're curious, so go back and check that out. I will leave a link down below in case you are. So this is what it looks like. It's just a big mess once you put a bunch of stuff in here. I'm actually going to take the double arrows down here and make it a little bit smaller so we can see what we have. So I'm going to show you what I purchased really quick. These are all mom um, files, anything to do with mom, but I thought they were really, really cute. And my, whoops, I made two of these. My number one or two seller are the car decals. I go crazy with these. I'm actually, guys, I'm really excited. If you guys are a subscriber of mine, you know how happy I am. I'm in two stores. I just got in my third store last week. I'm so excited. My stuff is selling out like crazy. If you guys are interested in more information on that, please contact me directly, or I do have an ebook for sale in case you're interested in learning how to start your own business, kind of where to start from, how to go. I'm actually doing really well. I'm not going to lie. I'm not boasting. I'm just saying I'm selling a lot. I'm doing a lot. I'm really proud of where I've come from, um, from starting from nothing to this YouTube channel to selling at the three stores. So again, I'm not trying to pat my own back or anything, but I'm really excited. So if you guys are interested in any of that, you can send me a message or you can purchase my ebook or leave any questions down below. So these are the ones that I purchased, like I said, from Etsy. I, um, you can find whatever you want, but I specifically wanted to look for mom ones. Um, so this is what I found. There was a lot more than this, but these are the ones that I wanted to work with. So like I said, this is how they come. They're not resized. They're not really attached. You have to work with them. So I'm going to just move some of these over and start with the first one. So most of my files that I make for car decals are round five by five. So I'm going to start with this first one, Mama Bear. I love it. I'm going to put it on my car. So what I do is start up here at the size and I'm going to go for the width and I'm going to type in five. Normally I go over and change the height but that kind of skews your image up so I'm just gonna push enter and see what it looks like so it's gonna change it to be the 2.895 um, I'll show you really quick if I unlock it and I change this to a 5 we're gonna see oh, yeah it's completely skewed so I don't always unlock it up here I just leave it to what it is so I'm just gonna go, go ahead and push this back button here so that it will just bring it back to the normal size. So I start normally around five by five, but I'm gonna let this be the 2.895, and I'm just gonna go with the next one. Just gonna be really quick. All I go up here is just change every one of these and let the height be whatever size Cricut is recommending. So again, I'm just gonna go up to each one of these and change it to be five. I'm gonna fast forward this because this is the first step, and then I'm gonna show you there's a couple other steps that you're gonna to wanna to do with this, but I'm just gonna fast forward this part so you guys don't have to watch me doing each one of these. Okay, so I have all of my files here. I'm actually gonna shrink my screen now that I know that they're the proper size that I need. I can make the screen a little bit smaller and work from here. So like I said, when you purchase files, not all of them are attached or welded together for good purposes. If you wanna change the colors on something, they allow you to do that. And some of them are already attached to each other. So I believe this, yeah, I believe this Mama Bear one was completely attached. The only thing you can really do is resize it or change the color. So I'm gonna change the color after I'm done with all this. I'm just gonna show you a few things you wanna check out and make sure you do before you go ahead and cut this. So I'm gonna start with this blessed mama one. So you can see on the side here, there's actually four parts to it. The blessed, the two parts of the arrow, and then the mama. So you can change the color if you want. I'm not gonna go into that with this um, specific video but if you have any questions leave them down below I'll be happy to help you so with this one like I said it's three parts so when Cricut cuts this out 
it's going, if you don't weld this together, it's basically going to leave a cut in between each one of these pieces where these are. Even though it looks like it's attached to each other, you still want to weld it. So with it selected, I'm going to go down here and push weld. And that's just telling Cricut that it's supposed to be all one piece, one whole word, that Cricut is not supposed to cut any little lines in between any of these. With the ones that aren't touching like these with the cursive ones, I just do attach. So I'm going to go down here and click attach. Again, you can change the color on these if you want but I'm not going to get into that in this video um, this one is already all done for you so you don't have to do anything and I just go into every single one so because this has the cursive on here I'm gonna go ahead and actually push weld because if again if you didn't it will cut it out just like it is surviving motherhood but it's gonna cut out a little line on each one of these where it's attached on here so this one is already done this one, I'm sorry, this one has to be my favorite one. My girls are all teenagers, but this would have been funny on my car. Um, for this one, again, I'm going to go down and do weld just because of the cursive part inside here. And you can go ahead and change these to whatever color you want, but this is all I'm going to be doing. And like I said, these are my number one, number two sellers. My number one seller is probably between my keychains that I create on the acrylic keychains or my Starbucks cups. So, and then with summer coming with chickens um, being on farms, um, it normally goes to number one seller is my egg carton um, that I sell from Amazon that I purchase and then I make them up myself. So... If you're interested in any of that, let me know. I will send you a link to those, but I do have a links to all of those. Um, so that is pretty much it. I'm going to leave all of mine black um, because I'm going to do one batch. And I'm using a vinyl from, it's called Tech Wrap Vinyl, a different company that I've uh, never really worked with before. But they sent me some vinyl to try out, and I have to say I really love this stuff. I normally don't... Um, promote things um, but I really do like this one again tech wrap craft I will leave the link down below in case you're interested in trying it out but I'm using like the rose gold color for all of these so I'm gonna go up ahead and click make it and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like it's probably gonna bring a few yep a few different mats here for me but because I'm going to be selling these what you want to do is move these over and because you want to have enough room in between these to be able to cut them and then um, wrap them. Um, I'll show you that in the next step, but I'm gonna look down here and see what it looks like. So I have one really large roll. I'm actually gonna change my material size to the 12 by 24, and then it will bring it to one mat for me, and I can move this over to what I need. So what I like to do is give myself enough room in between here that I can have enough extra on the bottom here and enough extra on the top here. I hope that makes sense what I'm talking about. So again, the same thing, I'm just going to make sure that there's enough room in between these. So I'm just going to bring these down and bring them over. And if you're just doing it for yourself, you don't have to worry about so much room in between. Um, again, I'm doing it because I'm going to be selling these. I'm going to move this guy over here because it's got a little bit more room. But I like to have enough room on each on the top and the bottom that I can take my scissors and cut in between and have enough that it looks nice you know it's presentation too when you're selling stuff so this is how I'm gonna leave it I like how it is I love the room between all of them maybe move this guy up but because I'm using one color it's going to be very easy I'm gonna go to continue and then it's gonna ask me what material I want to use so I've used this tech wrap before and like I said it's absolutely amazing I would highly suggest it it's kinda of like Oracle 651 it is permanent but they come in really really beautiful colors and it's very easy to weed um, I did a video on this previously so if you want to go check that out I did those li Libby cups or also known as the beer cups um, and it went on really smooth with um, the tech wrap. So if you're interested, go back and check that one out. Um, but I will weed this and then I'll show you um, how I package it and how I get it set up to sell. So here we are with the base materials. I actually do for this tech wrap one, I actually go to this washi sheet. So if you don't have that, you just go in the browse all materials and you type in washi sheet and then it will come up. Um, I just have it in my favorite. Then I just leave the pressure to default. I have a nice fine point blade in here. If you're looking for new blades, I will leave a link down below for those to Amazon. So I'm going to put this on my green mat. I'm going to weed it out and then I'm going to show you how to um, get these ready to sell.
All right, guys, here it is. I'm really excited how this turned out. As you can see, I left it on my mat. It was a little bit easier that way to weed this, but I really love how this turned out. I'm really excited to finish this up and show you guys how to do it. So because I left it on the mat, I'm going to actually just put a roll of transfer tape over this all at once rather than cutting them out, putting on the transfer tape, and then cutting it again. This is going to make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to try a different approach on this. I've never done this before. I just have a piece of parchment paper here because it's going to be one roll on here. With the transfer tape, I don't want to mess it up. So I have a huge roll of transfer tape here. I buy this from Amazon. It's the Fisker, I believe it's called. I'll leave a link down below in case you're interested. I have not tried it this way before, but I'm going to give it a try where I'm just going to start the transfer tape up at the top and then work my way down. Because when I put this on, sometimes it goes crooked and then I'm in trouble. So I'm just going to actually take it and start at the top. The, trans or the parchment paper actually is so it doesn't stick. As you can see, it's not sticking. So what I want to do is just start at the top and just make whoops, a little line right at the top here before it even starts with the, vi with the, tra uh, sorry, with the vinyl, if I can talk. So I just want to make this completely straight before I even get started. So my transfer tape is the exact size of my files. So I'm just going to take it up at the top here. And you want to take your time with this because like I said, once you put this down, you don't want to screw up. So I just want to get just the top part started here and make sure I'm perfect on the edges. All right. So now, like I said, I've never done this before with the transfer or with the parchment paper, but we're going to give it a try since this is going to be one long continuous piece. So I have my scraper here, and as I go along, I'm just going to scrape this down so that it sticks on it. So I'm just pulling my transfer or the parchment paper off as we go, making sure the lines stay perfect on the side here. And this is just, if you just have a long piece like I do, this is a full piece rather than little pieces together. So I'm just making sure that it's staying in the middle here on the sides. And I'm just going to do this all the way down, but I just want to show you my trick really quick. Hopefully it's going to work for me. I don't want to miss anywhere. So I'm just taking it, pulling my trains or my parchment paper down, and then I'll just rub it. So just like this, this is all I'm going to do. I'm just going to fast forward this. You guys don't have to watch this all the way. All right, so that worked out really well. Now I'm just going to take my scissors and cut on the bottom here to um, finish the transfer tape off. There. So I can save the parchment paper. But that was so much easier. Normally, like I said, I cut this out, each piece out, and then I go ahead and put the transfer tape over. And then you got to cut it again because you got to cut the transfer tape perfect to size. So this is done. I just want to make sure I get all the bubbles out in here. So I'm just going to scrape this really well. And then I will go in and cut out each one of these. So what I like to do is flip my mat upside down and then pull the vinyl off and peel back the mat itself so that your vinyl doesn't curl up, but rather your mat. This is a really long piece, but you know what? It saves some time when you do it bigger rather than just a few here and there. So... And I sell a lot of these, so this really goes a long way. So there, so I'm just going to take my scraper one more time while it's flat, and then just get out any bubbles that are here. Just like that. Perfect. So now you can see it. They all say... And then I'll show you another thing. Instead of using the scissors, I like to use something else when I can. Sometimes you really can't use the scissors because these aren't lined up. But I have something that really helps cut down the center. So this is just a uh, paper cutter, but it works really, really well. You have, you know, the straight line on here that I can cut so that you're not taking your scissors and kind of going, you know, sideways or anything. So I'm actually going to cut the middle out as best as I can first. You want to try to make it as straight as you can because you are selling this. So you want it to look nice. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this, but I'm just going to cut through this really quick. All right. So now I have two different pieces. I'll put this one to the side and show you. 
Now I'm just going to take this cutter, and now I can go in and kind of see where my line's supposed to be. So if you guys can see this, I'm just lining it up on the edge here so it's nice and flat because that was the piece that was already cut so it's nice and flat. And then just make sure you get the middle, and then you just slide it just like that. So now I can actually go in and cut the side off of here just to make it look a little bit nicer. You know, trim it up and make it look a little neater. But you always make sure, want to make sure you have a nice flat edge against this part here. And then there's a line in between here that I can see, so I can see what I'm cutting off. But look, isn't that awesome? So this is the first part, and then I'm going to show you the next part, how I bag it and what I put in here. So I'm going to finish these up really quick, do the same process, just put it through my little cutter, and then I'm going to show you the next step. So the first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that your um, vinyl is stuck to your transfer tape. So what I like to do on each one of these is just take my scraper and scrape it on really well, and then just do a quick test. Just peel it back to see if all of the pieces are on the transfer tape. So I just take the edge here, and then just peel it back so you can see that it's stuck on there. So I just like to take my scraper and scrape each one of these before I put it in. So that's the first part. Here's the second part. You want to have something in your bag so it tells people how to do it that they don't have to go and search for it. So I just found this on uh, Google. It just says how to apply your decal. I went and just put this on a Google spreadsheet and I just made a whole bunch of copies. I cut them out. I used my little cutter over there and then... Um, it's just so easy to do it that way. Just use your printer and print it out. You can do it on your Cricut and you can use your markers and do it all that, but it just takes so much more time and um, this way is so much easier and cheaper. So I have those. And then the last thing is the bags. So I bought some bags off of Amazon. They are just clear, self-sealable bags. So this one is a five by seven. I get 200 of them. And then I have a little bit bigger size right here. Um, but again, I buy them off of Amazon. I really love them because they're clear, and then it has a um, little adhesive part on here that I'll show you guys. So you just got to figure out what size you have. So I don't think that one will fit in here, so I'm going to show you a couple of them really quick. So what I like to do, take it and then put it upside down so that the sticky side of your bag is on the back. So I just like to flip it upside down put it in here really nicely. And then if you have like a business card or something, you can throw it in here as well, but I don't add those. And then you just put the other part in here just like that. So it says how to apply on this side and then the pretty part at the front. So then you take the adhesive backing off and I start on one side and I try to get some of the air out so it stays nice and flat. So it's just like that that easy and then when you're gonna go to sell it you can put like a little tag on the bottom here like I always do at the stores um, like I said these are a big seller for me so let's put my my consignment number on the bottom here and then the price like I said you can always add like a business card to here or something if you want to have people get some more um, I just choose not to so that's basically all that you have to do alright so I'm gonna show you guys one more same thing you're gonna want to do the test on it so just take your scraper make sure you scrape this down really well and then just take an edge and make sure that it comes up. This is really important because you don't want to have somebody call you back and say, hey, your your you know your vinyl's not sticking or anything. So just do the little quick test. So it is. And then just scrape it back on. I'm gonna take a smaller bag this time. Then you want to find the back. And I like to put it upside down. And then make sure you put your little how-to in it facing up. And the business card or whatever else you might want to have in there. Take the little film side. Peel that off, start at the corner, get some air out, and voila, just like that. And then again, you just put your tag on it, your price on it, however you want to do it. But that is it. That's basically how I do it. And I, like I said, I sell out of these like crazy. I'm actually working on some more. I'm going to show a clip on it really quick. I almost spit out my coffee when I saw this one. So I'm going to leave a clip up above. You guys can see it. But I'm going to finish these up. I'm going to start on my next ones and get those going. But I hope this tutorial really helped you out. I hope that you go and, you know, try to make your own. Find some stores that you can sell at. St sell on Facebook. Facebook, sell on, you know, Craigslist, get your word of mouth out of the, out there, you know, tell your friends, see if they'll buy from you. Just get going. It is so much fun to make money. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you're interested in my ebook and learning how to make more money, I will leave that in the description below. All of my supplies that I used, I will leave down below. Like I said, I use this tech wrap vinyl. I'm in love. It was so easy to weed. I didn't have any problems with it. So give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button and uh, happy crafting everyone.